So initially we cannot see it, but when you hover over on it, we can see that at the top. Actually, we can see all the effects properly when we will add some elements within this card. But at this moment, I wanna also adjust the spacing of this card. So go under advanced tab. First of all, let's add 50 pixel padding with this card. And at the margin, let's unlink it. I just wanna add some margin at the bottom. So here I'm adding 20 pixel of margin at the bottom. All right, now within this card, I wanna put an icon box. Just click on this plus icon. And from here, I'm searching for icon box. So here it is just drag it inside here within the card now you know if you want to change this icon you can do that from here so first of all i'm searching for a bolt icon so let's select it click on insert then i'm replacing this title also this description and here instead of this static icon i'm making it from view let's make it to stacked and from here the shape circle is fine all right, let's now do some styling with it. So go under style tab. Now from here, I'm making the primary color to the same color that we have added at the top here on hover. So that would be hash 2FACFC. And then let's adjust the icon size from here. So first of all, I'm making the spacing to 25. That's basically the space in between these two place. And also, if you notice when I hover over here, the bold icon color is changing. I don't want that. So from here, I'm making the secondary color to white. So it won't be changed on hover now. All right, now from here, I also wanna decrease the size of this icon. So from here, I'm making it only 16 pixel. And let's increase the padding to 18 pixel. So we are pretty much done with this icon. Let's style this title and description. So from left, let's open this content tab. First of all, I just wanna make all of them aligned to the left. So from here, I'm making the alignment to left. Then from here, title spacing, let's make it to 10. Now I wanna change the size of this title. So from typography, I'm just making its font size to 20 pixel. And also let's increase the weight to 700 like this. Then with this description text, let's do it from here you see it says description so if you wanna keep the default body color you can do that but from here i'm just changing it to main black color like this but i think the default body color was perfect so from here let's just select it and to undo the color from here click on clear so it's now getting the default body color but I just want to adjust its font size. So from here, from the typography, I'm making the font size to 16 pixel. All right, now underneath this icon box, I want to place a button widget here underneath. So from here, let's click on this Rubik's Cube icon. Now from here, I'm dragging the button underneath this icon box here. And you see this button is also getting the default styling. I mean the global styling. But for this button, I don't want that. So here, first of all, I just want to change the default click here to read more. Also, I want to add a right arrow icon. So from here, I'm searching for arrow. Let's select this icon, click on insert. And you know, I want to place it to the right side. So from here, I'm making the icon position to after. Now let's go under the style tab from here. First, open the typography because I want to just make its font size to 14 pixel then font weight to 500. Then I wanna remove all the global styling from this specific button. So to do it, first of all, from here, I'm making the padding to zero. Also, I don't want that border around this button. So from here, the border type, I'm making it to none. But still, if we have a look, you see, it's getting the hover effect from global button settings. So to disable that, Let's go under hover. So here on the hover, I'm making the background color to transparent color. Just drag this bar to the very left. And also the text color, I'm making it to black main color. So now if I hover over on this button, you see it's not getting the global button settings. So if we now minimize the bar from left, you can see the hover effect properly. So initially it's looking like it. And when I hover over on it, you see at the top three pixel of border has been added. 
so it's now looking really really nice but also i wanna add another animation with it to make it look more cool so to do it just open the bar from lift but like i said this is completely optional if you want you can add that if you don't want that you don't need to add that animation as i like to add decent animation on curves for that reason um selecting this card but make sure you have selected the card not its parent container so it's always safe to select the containers from the navigator so from here make sure you have selected the single card this one now from under its advanced tab let's scroll down and open the custom css field and here i will be adding that hover animation css snippet to get that just go to jimfahaddigital.com from here let's scroll down a little bit it says hover lift animation just copy this css snippet from this place now go inside elementor and paste the css snippet here so what difference will it make just minimize it for the moment and have a look so initially it's looking like it and now when we hover over on it you see it lifts at the top a little bit so altogether it's now looking really really nice all right let's open the bar from left now i just wanna duplicate this single card couple more time so right click here duplicate it actually i wanna create six single cards so right click here duplicate right click here duplicate it and let's duplicate it couple more time so from here let's duplicate it one last time so you see we have got six cards here now i will explain why i have used wrap to their parent container so basically this single curse parent container is this inner two container this one and if we go under its layout you see i have added the wrap value to wrap here the reason is if i just disable the wrap value from here just have a look now so when you disable the wrap value of the parent container all their child containers try to adjust within the parent in a single line but i don't want that that's why i have enabled this wrap so let's enable it again to wrap now let's see how you can change all these icons and these colors for example let's select this icon box from here so if i wanna change this icon to any other icon so from here you know i just wanna add here home icon so i'm searching for home let's select it and insert it and to change its color just go under the style tab from here just change the primary color this time i'm changing this color to hash ea4d89 and let's copy this color because i wanna apply the same color at the top of this card so from here i mean from the navigator let's select this single card go to under its style tab from here open the border go under its hover and from this place i'm just changing this color to our new color so if we now minimize the bar from left side so have a look on this first card if i now hover over here we can see it's lifting a little bit to the top and we can see this bluish border at the top and with the second card you see the border color has been changed so similar like that i wanna change all these icons all these colors and all these top border colors so i'm doing it really quickly and i'm coming back to you all right so i have changed all these icons all these icons color and also all this top border color and now from the navigator let's just minimize this inner two container so we can now start working with the inner three container so let's select inner three container that's basically this one so with this container first of all i'm making the direction to row and i wanna set a background color with it now go under the style tab from here background type let's select the background color from our global colors so that would be white bg and i want to also add some spacing so go under advanced tab from here unlink the padding here with okay so let's first link it because i'm adding 60 pixel with it and i just want to ignore the bottom space so this time let's unlink it at the bottom i'm just making it to zero then similar like before within this inner three container let's click on this plus icon and here i'm dragging another container 
then let's duplicate this container one more time and you know i always give name to the container so this container name let's just name it to left container and this container of course it should be you know right container okay so let's select the left container here i'm making the justify content to the end and now within this container let's just click on this plus icon and here i'm dragging an image widget here let's now select the image now from here for this area i'm selecting this image click on insert media all right but this image is looking kind of big so i want to reduce its width just go under its style tab from here i'm making its width to 85 percent all right let's now go inside of this right container just move this navigator to the left side so you can see it properly now within this right container click on this plus icon first of all i wanna drag a heading widget here so let's drag this heading widget in this place and this time i'm making the html tag to h4 so it's getting the color automatically from global settings but now i wanna change this text to marketing now go under style tab from here first of all i'm making the font size to 14 pixel and font weight to 500 also i want to add some negative margin at the bottom of this heading so just go under advanced tab and link the margin at the bottom i'm just adding negative 5 pixel of margin all right now underneath this h4 i want to add a heading 2 and you know we can just copy and paste that so from top from this place let's just right click here and click on copy now let's scroll down make sure you have put your cursor right underneath this h4 then right click here and click on paste so it's been pasted here instantly with all these tiles how cool is that now let's just replace this text so i'm replacing this text with other text and underneath that i wanna use a paragraph and you know you can just copy this from here so let's copy it and underneath here i'm just pasting it in this place and of course i wanna change the text so from here i'm changing the text but in this time i just wanna reduce its font size a little bit so from under the style tab let's open the typography instead of 18 i just wanna make it to 14 pixel actually 14 pixel is too much less or too smaller so i'm making it to 16 pixel also you see the space in between is too much so to reduce it let's just go under advanced tab let's unlink the margin it's already unlinked because we have just pasted it from top so here instead of 10 i'm just making it to negative 5 like this and the bottom negative 15 is fine all right now underneath here i wanna put some icon box one after another horizontally so to do it first of all i wanna take a container here so click on this rubik's cube icon and let's drag this container underneath this paragraph here as it's a single container here we won't get confused so we can just keep its name to container or if you want you can just rename it to maybe icon box wrapper like this and here with this icon box wrapper container i'm making the direction to row and the gap between elements i'm making it to 30 pixel then i want to also add some space in between this paragraph and this container so go under advanced tab from here unlink the margin at the top i'm adding 15 pixel of margin all right now we can insert here an icon box from scratch just by dragging from the left side but instead of that as we have created some icon box here so let's just copy this icon box from this place and let's insert it here so right click here and click on paste but now i want to adjust its styling so first of all i want to change this icon so from here i'm just searching for check icon this one let's select it then let's change this title also let's change the description and now for this icon box let's scroll up i just want to set its icon position from left all right now let's customize its styling so from top let's go under the style tab here i'm changing this primary color to a kind of greenish color so that would be hash 
32C36A. And then, you know, I just want to make it really small here. So first of all, I'm just making the spacing to 15 or let's keep it 16. Then size, let's reduce it to 12. Then the padding, I want to really reduce it a lot. So let's just keep it 6. And now I think we just need to fix this because if you have a look, this green icon and this heading is not aligned at the top. So to fix it, let's just select it from here. Let's open the content tab and here is the title. So go to its typography and from here I'm making its line height to zero. And then we can increase the line height of this paragraph. So from here, let's open the typography of the description and let's set its line height in EM first. So I'm making it just one or 1.2, maybe a bit more 1.4. All right, so far it looks good, but we'll understand it properly if I duplicate it. So for now, let's duplicate this icon box from this place. Let's duplicate it. Now I think we just need to increase the spacing in between this heading and paragraph. So let's just select it from under content tab here instead of 10 we can make it to 15 or 16 also let's do the same with this one just go under the style tab from here open the content now from this place from the title i'm just making it to 16. then to make it really really stick i'm changing this text so go under content tab here the title let's change it to other text all right, so far our inner three container is also looking great. So let's just minimize the inner three container from this place. And if I just turn off the navigator for the moment and have a look. So here, this inner three container is looking great. Here is our inner two container, it's looking great. And here at the top, this is our inner one container. It's also looking great. Now the very last thing, we just need to check how it's looking from mobile and tablet device. So to check its responsiveness, let's just click here on this responsive mode. First, let's check it on tablet. So click on the tablet icon. So here we need to do a little bit of work. So first of all, let's just right click here and open the navigator. Okay, let's just keep it to the right side so we can see everything properly here. So here on the tablet view, I have not found anything problem with this first inner container. So let's select the second inner container. Here, I think we need to increase the width of this single curse only on tablet device. So open the inner to container and here is our single curse. Let's select it. Go under its layout tab and here I want to increase its width. So make sure you have set it in percentage. Now I'm making its width to 48% only for tablet device. So I'm doing it really quickly for all other single cards. Let's select the card, go under layout. And from here, I'm making it to 48%. I'm doing it really quickly and coming back to you. All right, so I have made all these single cards width to 48% for the tablet device. So right now it's looking great. Let's now scroll down and I just want to go to the inner three container here. So with inner three container, we need to adjust a few things. First of all, I just want to reduce its padding. Okay. So on the tablet device, I just want to make its padding to 50 pixel all around. So here I'm setting the padding to 50 pixel. Then, you know, within this inner three container, if I open up the navigator, just open the inner three you see we have got here left container and right container and within the left container we have got only this image but i don't wanna show this image on the tablet or mobile view so i just wanna hide it and not only the image i wanna hide this total left container so let's select the left container go under its advanced tab let's scroll down and open the responsive tab from here, I want to hide it for tablet and mobile. So let's hide it and also let's hide it for mobile device. So at this moment, everything is looking great on tablet view. Now I want to check how it's looking on mobile device. So from here, let's click on mobile icon. 
Now on the mobile device, the very first thing I want to do, you see the space at the top is huge for mobile device. So I want to reduce that. First of all, let's select the main container. That's basically our features container. Just go under its advanced tab. From here, first of all, let's unlink it. On the left and right, let's just keep the default 15 pixel that we have used for the tablet and desktop. But for the top and bottom, I want to use only 60 pixel of padding instead of 100 and then i want to reduce the font size of this heading so let's just select this heading go to its typography and you see it's getting 44 pixel from desktop but not only for mobile device actually i want to reduce the font size for tablet as well so first of all let's go back to the tablet if i set its font size to 38 pixel instead of 44 you see it's now looking much better and if we now go back to mobile device you see it's getting the font size from tablet so 38 pixel is looking much decent all right now i want to align this button to the left side for mobile device so from here let's select its parent container that's basically this right container and here the align items instead of end only for the mobile device i'm selecting its align items to start so it's now aligned to the left side so now this first inner is looking great on mobile device so i'm minimizing the first inner so now let's open the second inner here on the mobile first of all with this inner 2 or inner 2 container i want to adjust its positioning so go under advanced tab and link the margin at the top it was 40 so i want to keep it 40 because 40 is fine but at the bottom i want to reduce it to 30 pixel so for this inner two container is looking great on mobile device and let's have a look on this inner three you see the padding seems huge on mobile device so let's just select this inner three from here and with the padding let's first add 40 pixel all around now let's unlink it because at the left and right i'm just adding 15 pixel of padding like this and also if you have a look we have copied this heading from top that's why it is still looking bigger but now i wanna just copy and paste the style from this heading so right click here click on copy let's now scroll down because you see it's looking much bigger for a mobile screen so now right click here and click on paste style it's now looking much decent all right so everything is looking great on mobile device as well now let's go back and create our next section for the moment i'm just closing the responsive view from here and then scroll down to the very bottom of our builder so we have completed our hero banner and feature section let's now create our new section so click on this plus icon and this time again i'm taking this row based structure this one First of all, I want to add a background color with it. So go under style tab from here from the background type. Let's add the global black color. So from here, I'm selecting the black main color. Now go under advanced tab from here padding. First, I'm adding 100 pixel of padding. Then let's unlink it at the left and right. I'm adding 15 pixel of padding. Now here I wanna put a heading and paragraph and you know we have here our heading and paragraph. So let's just copy this heading from here and within this place just right click here and paste it. But you see we cannot see it because its color and background color is same. So just go under style tab and here I'm making the text color to white. Also from under content tab I'm making its alignment to centered. Then underneath that I want to put a paragraph so again let's go to top let's just right click here copy this par paragraph text from here now let's scroll down and underneath this heading right click here and paste it here then similar like before just go under style tab here I'm making the alignment to centered also that text color to white color now for sure I want to change the content so let's change the content from here then let's change this heading font not font heading text as well so within the title field i'm just pasting some text here and right after need this word i want to add a line break so you know i'm just adding the line break tag here 
All right, now underneath this paragraph, I wanna add an inner container. So from here, let's drag this inner container underneath here in this place here. Now, before doing another thing, I just wanna rename these containers because it will make you confused. So here, this is the main container. I'm just renaming it to facts as this is our facts section. And then within these facts, we have taken another container. So I just wanna rename it to inner container. All right. Now this inner container, I'm making its direction to row. Now let's go under its advanced tab. And from here, I'm making the padding to 60 pixel, but let's just unlink it because at the bottom, I'm making it to zero pixel of padding. Now within this inner container, I wanna take two more containers one is left and right so just click on this plus icon let's drag this container here so this is the inner container and right click here duplicate it again so the first one it would be our left container and the next one it would be our right container now let's start with the left one so similar like before you are already familiar with this so i will move a bit faster than before so let's make the left container width to i mean the content width to full width and here i'm making its width to 50 percent also with the right container let's make it content width to full width and here with in percentage i'm making it 50 percent all right, now let's start from the left container. First of all, here I'm making the justify content to centered for the left container. And here within the left container, I wanna put some icon box and we already have created some icon box at the top. So let's just copy it from here. Later we can customize it. So copy it and within the left container, right click here and let's paste it. Before changing any other content, the first thing I want to do here, I'm making the icon position from left. Now from top, I want to change this bell icon with circle or dot. Let's search for dot. Actually, we need to search for circle here. So here is a plain circle. Let's select it and insert it. Then I want to change the title and description. So first I'm replacing the title text. Then here is the description text. All right, now let's go under the style tab from here. First of all, I want to change this primary color to our brand color. So from here, our brand color is here. Then the secondary color, I also want to set it as our brand color. But now here, the primary color, I just want to reduce its opacity. So from here, let's reduce its opacity just by dragging this bar to the left side like this. So you see, all together is making a nice effect here. And now of course I wanna reduce its size. So from here, let's make the spacing to 16, size to 18 and the padding, let's set it to six pixel. All right, let's now open the content tab. Now, first of all, I'm making its spacing instead of 10, I'm making it to 12. And you see here, we cannot see the title because we need to change its color from here. So from this place, let's make its color to white color. And also I wanna increase the font size. So from here, let's make it to 24 pixel instead of 20. And also I wanna reduce its line height. So first of all, let's select it in EM and here I'm making it 0 0.5. All right, let's also change the color of the description. So I'm also making its color to white maybe a little bit off white. So from here, I'm just reducing its opacity like this. And then from typography, I'm reducing its font size from 16 pixel to 14 pixel. And then if you notice, you see there is no breathing space with this icon box. So let's go under advanced tab. Here, I wanna add 30 pixel of padding, but here at the bottom, we can reduce a bit. So unlink it at the bottom, I'm adding 25 pixel of padding. And then also I want to reduce its width a little bit. So from here, let's set the width to custom and let's make it just 80% or a bit more. We can make it 82% like this. And also I want to set its background color from under advanced tab. So from here, let's open the background. I want to set the same background color. So from here, let's open the classic. And you know, that would be the same black main color or global black color. 
then I want to add some border around here so let's open the border first of all I want to add some border radius maybe a little like 6 and then border type let's set it to solid and with one pixel then the border color let's set it as okay here I want to use a custom color so the color code would be hash two zero two two three four 